When creating our games, we always need to keep in mind how we are going to teach the player the mechanics of the game, okay? How are we going to teach them how to control the player? How are we going to teach them how to engage with the game systems? And what the story of the game is? Well, this can be done for a number of different methods. Probably the most easiest method of this is through text tutorials, okay? These are pop-up text boxes that tell you what to do. Uh, now, this is the easiest way of teaching a player, but it's also probably the worst in the sense that it can take you out of the experience and it takes away all the amazing opportunities you have to add in uh, tutorials based on the design of your levels and how intuitive they are. Okay, now with text tutorials, there are cases where they uh, should be used. For example, in strategy games, uh, it's normally not that easy to intuitively figure out strategy game mechanics. So uh, in those cases, then they are probably needed as well as more complex game mechanics that cannot be taught uh, through the level design. But what do I mean about teaching through the level design and the mechanics themselves being intuitive? Well, there is a three-step process, and many games follow this three-step process. If you've ever played a game where a uh, mechanic is introduced to you, then there is a chance that this is what has happened. Okay, so first step, we teach the player the mechanic in a safe environment. Okay, the player is not in danger, and there are no other distractions present. Normally, if it's something like an enemy, we'll see the enemy, and we'll actually be able to preview what the enemy is going to do in a scripted uh, encounter. So maybe another NPC will go out and the enemy will defeat them in a certain way so that we then know, okay, this is how that enemy functions. Let's go in and use that knowledge against them. The next step of the process is allow the player to use the mechanic in a real situation. And the player is now able to interact with the mechanic as they would normally. Okay, so there is that danger now where they can be damaged or they will be affected by it. But hopefully in the previous step, they now have uh, informed themselves on what this mechanic is and how it can be used. And the third step is to combine the mechanic with others. And this allows the player to further understand the emergent systems of your game. If your game is quite emergent uh, with various different systems that can interact with each other, then this is uh, a great step to add as it can further reinforce uh, both the new mechanic and the old mechanic that is now interacting. So let's look at Half-Life 2 because Half-Life 2 is a great example of both game design and teaching the player through the game design itself. Okay, if you've ever played Half-Life 2 before, you'll notice that the only time text appears on screen is telling you what buttons to press to move, to jump, and to shoot. Apart from that, all of the game's emergent systems are taught to you through the levels themselves and through actually interacting with them. So. Let's look at the Half-Life 2 barnacle enemy, okay? This enemy hangs from ceilings and pulls up anything that touches it. So how is this taught to us in game? The first time the barnacle appears in the game, its mechanic is displayed to the player through a scripted encounter. A bird actually flies into the barnacle's uh, tentacle, which then sucks it up. So in this case, the player is not in danger at all. They see this and they then realize, okay, if an object or a person interacts with the barnacle, it will begin to suck them up. So the player now has this knowledge, so the next time they interact with the barnacle, it is now in a situation where they can choose to either avoid the barnacle or go ahead and try and shoot it down, okay? And there is that danger of then being grabbed. And then later on, uh, not too long after this moment, we have the third step, which has a large amount of barnacles that the player cannot cross and cannot shoot so their only choice is to actually pick up these explosive barrels and throw them into the barnacles. And what the player finds out then is that when the barnacle uh, basically eats this explosive barrel, it explodes, killing all of the other barnacles around it. Okay, so the player now has a much more refined knowledge of these two systems. Okay, it knows the barnacle can pick up any object and it will eat it so it will interact with it. And the player also knows that, okay, these explosive barrels can be used against these barnacles. So this is how Half-Life 2 uses this three-step process in actually teaching us a mechanic without necessarily having a text box appear and listing out exactly what it does. Okay, it could have done that. It could have said, okay, this is the barnacle. Uh, it sucks things up when it touches the tentacle. If you throw an explosive barrel in it, it'll also explode. 
Now, they could have done that, and it might have been easier for the player to notice that at the start, but at the same time, it doesn't give that player the uh, experience of discovering it by themselves. The level is set up in a way so that the player has to be the one engaging with the mechanic in order to learn it, okay? So, the three-step process again. We have the first step, which is teach the player the mechanic in a safe environment, like we have here. We then allow the player to use the mechanic in a real situation, and we then combine the mechanic with others, okay, further reinforcing the emergent systems of our game. As a bit of a challenge, I want you to think of a game you've played recently, and then think to yourself, how was the game's systems and mechanics taught to you, okay? Uh, there is obviously mechanics in games and systems that you learnt. How did you learn those? And what improvements would you make to the tutorial, okay? Would you remove the text and somehow integrate a much more uh, Half-Life 2 style of teaching where it has a three-step process of teaching you in a safe environment, then teaching you the mechanic in a normal environment, and then teaching you how to combine different systems together, okay? So... If you want to learn more, uh, there's a great video by Game Makers Toolkit on how a similar process is done in Super Mario 3D Worlds. And if you haven't played Half-Life 2 already, I highly recommend it as the entire game is filled to the brim with great game design decisions. Uh, it's an immersive experience and it has many moments where it teaches the player new mechanics just like it done with the barnacle. Okay, so it's a great game to analyze and to further reinforce your game design principles. Thank you for watching.